Malian army pickup trucks and armoured vehicles from France on patrol together. They're in an unstable part of Mali, near the borders of Burkina Faso and Niger, which has become a crossroads for jihadists and armed groups. The soldiers are on the first military operation of the G5 Sahel, a new coalition of Sahel region forces from Mali, Niger, Mauritania, Burkina Faso and Chad. They're supported by troops from France's Operation Barkan, which has 4,000 soldiers. There's interaction, good collaboration, but they are just supporting us. The main reconnaissance mission is ours. We're on the front line. They are here for support. Part of the operation is managed from this base in the middle of the desert. French soldiers offer crucial support to their African partners in the form of fighter jets, helicopters and artillery. The goal of the mission is to support partner forces from three countries, Mali, Niger and Burkina Faso, in a quite sensitive area, a crossroads for different armed terrorist groups. The aim is to hinder their freedom of movement and action in that area. The porous borders and open spaces of the Sahel make it easier for armed groups to operate here. Until recently, this town, Tilit, near the Burkinabi border, was controlled by a group linked to Al-Qaeda. The results are still visible. The school is still closed after jihadists threatened the teacher, who fled along with the town's mayor. You can still see the last date on the blackboard, June 2017. Closing schools is a typical move by armed terrorist groups, especially those that teach French in this region. Residents are reluctant to talk, fearing reprisals. That complicates the soldiers' efforts to reassure citizens and secure intelligence about jihadist groups. In the long term, they hope to leave the Sahel region to govern itself, once the local authorities are back in control.